So with the Eurogate thing as well, obviously, I know you've been doing your tours and stuff like that. So you've been doing this for a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You release Fresh or Breath, the broad, uh, okay. Breath, uh, it's always a tongue twister for me. You know? With Breath of Fresh Air, you've released that one and you actually done it for free. Yeah. So obviously you had the, the backing, you've done your tours, you've done the Eurogame thing, you've got your solo thing. Yeah. Why did you actually decide, oh, I'm going to do this for free when you probably could have charged for it from the get-go? Boy, the way I look at it is like, even though they see us touring, like, I keep it real 100%. You might see us in Finland and Scandinavia and all them places. Really, when we're going out there, all we're doing is really we're just um, we're planting the seeds. You understand what I'm saying? So when we get to that pinnacle point, we're the plant the seed and it, it'll have grown to a tree and we, we can really eat some fruits off of that. You see what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, obviously, when you see us away, it might be like because you're in London, you're out there, out there, they're doing it. You know what I'm saying? There ain't no big peas involved yet. You understand what I'm saying? But we just, we, we're building that. But the pressure of fresh air thing, I just. Like, I was kind of quiet for like two years since once upon a time in London. Yeah. I don't know if you heard that mixtape. You heard yeah. that? I was kind of quiet after that because I was going through other things in other situations. You know what I'm saying? That's a whole other story. But I was quiet. So when I came back, I thought, well, I'm going to give the people something, something free. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, Drake just blew and like, all these artists just blew. And I was looking at how, obviously, it's a different demographic in London. But at the time, I was looking at that. Like, right, if you give a free, a free music out, that's how you, you gain this big buzz. London obviously is a little bit different because everyone's trying to rap now and it's like, I'm saying, no, you want to show credit on that, but Breath of Fresh Air was what it was, a Breath of Fresh Air, you understand what I'm saying? Everyone was following the gigs tick, you know what I'm saying? Like, everyone was trying to rap like gigs, everyone was a bad man, everyone was a shot up, so I was like, I feel like it, Breath of Fresh Air, and just told them how I felt, and boom, 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 it done well, but I think it's got like 15,000 downloads right now. Yeah. Like, anyone that went and downloaded that, big up, man, I appreciate the support. Go and get Breath of Fresh Air Deluxe, man. Six ninety nine on, on iTunes, man. Support a brother, man. That cost me a lot of money to to record all that shit. See, because I mix my shit, master my shit. So when you got it in your in your, in your, in your iPod, it's, it's good quality. You know what I'm saying? You can play it to your mom. You can play that in the car and they'll go listen to it. You know what I'm saying? So go get that, please, man. There's a lot of hot tunes on there. It's real life. Like everything that comes out of my mouth is real. I don't lie. I don't fabricate. Go get that man, it can change your life. I can say something in there, I drop my jewels, I can say something in there. You could be going through something after a hard day at work or a hard day on the road, find a zoo, listen to it, you could have a whole different outlook on life. And that's what music's about. It's, it's, it's deeper than money, it's deeper than everything. It's about what, what, what you give, you understand? And I give my soul, you know? So go support that man, 6 99 on iTunes. I've got the, got the, got the, the thing with Max B, you're probably going to get into that in the meantime. Yeah. Apart from that. <laughs> I can't even like keep on asking and answering some of my questions that I ain't even asked yet. <laughs> um, with them staying with us on uh, Breath of Fresh Air, um, like he was saying, it is a big album. I think that's going to actually end up in my top 10 at the end of the year. Um, what happened? Not even what happened. The beats, the whole package is big. Um, so just explain some of the producers on there, because like I said, some of the beats on there are sick. Yeah, I've got, um, I've got a producer from Germany called Benno, Big Up Benno, 76. He's on Twitter, at Benno76, go check him out. Um, he's a big, big, big producer in Germany, like, he uses a lot of samples and stuff like that. Then I've got, um, I've got a lot of, there's too many producers on there. I've got a nigga from, another nigga from Sweden, I think, called Smacks. He's done the intro, the Breath of Fresh Air intro. I've got Harry Ford on there. Harry Ford did um, New York Minute with JD Kiss in French. And he's, he's producing all French tracks. He produced that, that track, that Money, Money, Money track. The French has done recently. I've got him on there. He wants to do a UT when I go back to New York. But, um, who else is on there, huh? You know, Fresh Airs, it was on Once Upon a Time in London. Um, why? <laughs> M.O. Beats produced a profiling track. You know what I'm saying? It was just like, me and Project, what it is, yeah, I go through stages, like, I, I, there'll be a stage in my career, yeah? yeah. Well, in my career, but after I look to CD, well, I won't really rap, I won't really write my music. And during that period of time, I'll just get produced the same amount of beats. I can get like 100 beats, I've got 100 beats in my email over six months period, and then I'll just listen to them after, with fresh ears after. Yeah, yeah. And then I'll just pick the ones I want. Breath of Fresh Air wasn't even meant to be a mixtape, but I was meant to drop a sign called Lawyer on a respect. And I thought, well, I'm going to give, give something away for free quickly before I drop that. And then I just thought, fuck it, and put some of the Lawyer on respect tracks on there and give it to them because I was waiting for so long. But yeah, Breath of Fresh Air, man, go get that one. 
does that mean we got something to look forward to coming soon then, yeah? Yeah, definitely. You've got a lot to look forward to. Any any fans, not even fans, supporters of our music, you've got a lot to look forward to. And i got Loy and Respect coming real soon. Like, that's a big project, you know what I'm saying? Like, and it is what it is. When I say Loy and Respect, it's like showing you my loyalty and respect to the things that I have loyalty and honor and respect for. So when I'm talking about a girl track of a girl on there, it will it will be the real life shit. When I'm talking about like roles, when I'm talking about the music industry, when I'm talking about the London scene, you know what I'm saying? There's a, there's, there's a lot of things dear to my heart on there, see? And then um I've got a mixtape coming out with Kid Arachi called Lightwork. And then I've got a, a EP coming out with say called fucking Real Life Aura Rap. You know what I'm saying? That's that, that's all nearly finished. But um, next year I've got an EP coming up for before, yeah. That's what I'm really, 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 really focusing on right now. You know what I'm saying? Singles, I'm trying to get to the money, you know? I'm going to keep it real all the time. I'm always going to make music for the real fans out there and try and uplift people, but I need to get to the money, you see it? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, definitely feeling the um, work you've been doing with Kid Arachi at the moment as well, man. There's some big tracks up there. That was actually another question I was going to say, and you got an EP coming out with him. 